the nose knows there's definitely something cooking that smells out of this world. <laughs> Hi, Amy. Hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. Hi, guys. It smells so good from the hallway. Yes, today is our annual company picnic, so we thought it'd be a great idea to bake all these really special desserts. We have pies, cookies, you name it. We're gonna have it at the picnic. Okay, can I help, please? Yes, can he help, guys? <laughs> of course. Thank you, guys. Great, here's an apron for you. You wanna help me scoop these oatmeal raisin cookies? I would love to. I'm doing three across here, and probably about four rows, maybe okay. five, we'll see. My favorite part. No. no! What happened? As tempting as that might be, eating raw cookie dough or even tasting it is really dangerous. A lot of people have gotten sick from that. That's not possible. My mom used to let me lick it off the ball when I was a kid. Well, there's a lot of potential sources of contamination, one being E. coli in flour. So how does E. coli get in flour? Well, flour is a raw agricultural product, which means that it isn't treated prior to being packaged. You can get contamination in the field or in different production steps along the way, but when we bake the dough, the heat kills any bacteria. Well, make sure not to eat cookie dough anymore. Right, and there's another ingredient that's a potential source of food safety risk. Do you know what that is in a lot of doughs? Let me take a guess, raw eggs. Exactly. Eggs can harbor salmonella, which also can cause food poisoning. So you really want to wait until everything's baked, and trust me, these are going to be delicious. All right. Who knew dough could be so dangerous? So you know, the risk with cookie dough and batters isn't new. It's just that we're better at tracking these things so that you hear more about potential dangers when it relates to food safety. But what about kids who make crafts and things out of raw dough? Isn't that potentially dangerous too? It certainly is. That could be potentially dangerous if they were to eat the dough or just from cross-contamination contamination on countertops and things like that. Huh. And Amy says that you shouldn't think about the flour in your pantry only when you're ready to bake. If you hear about a flour recall, people don't buy flour that often, so they might think it doesn't pertain to them, mm -hmm. but it has a long shelf life, so you do want to pay attention to recalls, and usually you'll see a lot code and a date right on the package, so you should check even if it's several weeks since you bought flour. I'll definitely do that. Thanks, Amy. It smells amazing I here. know. Yeah, you've got to try one of these ginger snaps that Claudia made. Oh, thank you. Delicious. Thank you very much. Hey, James, Amy was just telling me about the dangers of raw eggs and raw flour, but what about the cookie dough ice cream that people buy at the store? Why isn't the cookie dough ice cream from the store dangerous, too? The big difference is that the cookie dough ice cream you get from the store is pasteurized. What is pasteurization? Pasteurization is a process that elevates the temperature of the ingredients, killing off pathogenic bacteria. It's actually named after the scientist Louis Pasteur. So what exactly is pathogenic bacteria? So pathogenic bacteria are ones that can cause disease. But really, don't worry. Most bacteria are not pathogenic. Well, James, that tip is definitely worth another cookie. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Sounds like it's really important to clean up raw flour after baking, huh? Yeah, that's right. But the first thing you should do is to take all your utensils and bowls and dishes and wash them up with warm, soapy water. Additionally, you should use a wet paper towel to clean up the excess flour. You can toss it away so you can avoid cross-contamination. Right, because if you used a sponge, you could contaminate the sponge and then spread those germs elsewhere. Exactly right. Thanks a lot for the advice, guys. And by the way, to everyone, your baking smells amazing. It's a good thing we baked a lot of cookies, guys. 